Okay, here's one of my boxwoods. Um, this is the one I got. This is the second one I got. Um, I found this on my own. Um, I didn't get for the group that I part of. We're just going to trim it back. Um, this one needs more development of the canopy than the other one um, does. The first one does. Um, and now my, well, doesn't need as much development as the newest one I got, the big one, that I pruned back hard. So, we'll just go through. First, we will just, we'll do like I did on the other one, is just give it a shape. Oh, I'll rotate it too. This still, I need to fill this hole in. We might look into moving this branch to start with. I don't know. Could kind of let this grow out, but it's right with these two, so it'd be three. It would be three branches all together. And I don't, I don't think that would look good. We're probably not going to need to do that. We'll leave it for now, but we we'll probably won't do that. But I think I could do this and then bring this one over. That would because we don't want to fill this whole hole because we want this separate to that but there's like a little it's a bit of a hole here which i think i will do that you know i think i'm going to do that before unlike i did the other one i'm going to do this first because then i can trim accordingly both those branches I'm going to use the unwanted an anchor and actually move both of these branches together. Also put some movement in this branch. Um, it's pretty straight. It's pretty straight, so we'll put some movement in the branch while we uh, move it. And this one will move and move back a little bit. Get a little more of a back to it. And then we will use some of these branches here to fill in the holes eventually. Well, the hole, there's now a hole here, which that would be way easier to fill in. This can grow out, this can grow out, all these can grow out and fill that hole in a little bit with time. So now we'll get started. I don't know, I'm starting to rethink this, this branch here. I'm going to keep it again for now. Well, I'm, I'm still going to sit. I'm still going to think about it. But this branch might go because it kind of moves in front of that branch. And I think we'd be better just making a pad here than trying to make a pad out of two of these. But for now, we're just going to keep it. And this one probably put a little more growth. This one probably, this one seems to be a more, a little faster of a grower than the other one. Um, because it has a little longer the shoots that it's grown, and I did them both at the same time as before. Um, I repotted them at the same time and did work on them. Um, we didn't do a lot of work on them when we repotted them. I just repotted them and, and figured I could work on them again this summer.
And I don't think this one will be as long. This one won't take as long as the other one. Because this one does not have as much foliage as the other one does. And I think we're just going to take these leaves off that we don't want. And we're just going to take them off as we go because I can see them better right off the bat. I don't have to get in there to find them like I did on the other one. leaves here that are just like they're just at the end of branches but what was the I'm going to work on this back pad first. Bring these back, the back ones at least, back to one node because I don't need this pad to go out this way as much. So I'll need it to go that way. Branch is blowing up here. Branch is way up here. Get rid of that all together. Clean that up. And as on the other one, I want to cut most of the stuff back to help promote renovation. Now this one, I think I'm going to leave some of these on the back to grow a little more, just because we need more space to fill in. Now this, this is real long. We don't need this going out this far. I'm going to cut this back to about here. I will eventually wire this to go this way, I think. You know what? No, I'm not. I am going to try to get this to bud um, off to the side. Yeah, I'm just going to cut this back. We're going to hope, hope we're going to get this to grow out the side way. Just change the direction instead of trying to wire that later. Um, it, it'll be later. Just the same with this one over here from the other side. I'm going to cut it to help change the direction. Okay, we're trying to, I'm trying to decide where this branch is, figure out where this branch is.
that off. Hopefully this will go out more in this way. Now in this, some of these did not bud. The other one, everything budded out. I mean, I had bud every. This thing kind of selected where it budded out. Back budded. Like there's ones I cut back before that have not back butted yet, so we'll have to wait on those. Okay. Mm, I'm trying to try. Keep that. Yeah, we keep that, but get rid of the side branches growing in. It's just the problem for other branches and bloom and all that stuff. I think I'm going to cut this off just because I don't look like it's doing good to start with. Cut that off. There, and let these grow out. Mm. Mm And unlike the other one, this one I do have to cut for direction um, because uh, its leaves do alternate one direction, then the other direction. You know, like this one here, the le two leaves come out this direction, this direction, then they come out this direction, and this direction. The other one, pretty much all the leaves come out the same direction as they go up so there wasn't a lot of directional pruning you had to do or this one there is more directional pruning to do this is kind of coming from the underneath you don't need it and it's inside Yeah, what grew out on this grew better than the other one, but like I said, some places did not put out. As I said before, this one is not as developed as the other one. Even though the other one was never trained, um, hadn't started being trained as a bonsai yet, it had been like pre-bonsai training, you know, like it was trimmed over the years. And the, And the know that in the knowing that it was going to be a bonsai so it had a heads up to this one i don't think this one has ever 
I bought this one. This was just a really good, I think it was just a really good nursery plant um, that I bought from somebody. Um, they found just a decent find. I said the biggest problem with this tree was the roots. It has nice roots on the front. This back part has no roots. I mean, there's no roots in the back of this this pot. They're all in the front, and then they look like there were a lot of roots coming this way because they they go out this way and this way, and then they loop under. So I had to do a lot of root correction, and hopefully, eventually, we'll get some roots that'll develop in the back end of this. So we'll see. Um, do I want this little branch? We'll leave this for now. It hasn't back budded yet, so we'll see what it does. Let's just clean that up. So there's that one. Much quicker than the other one. Um, and a lot more of these big leaves that I can't get off huh, for now. They need to stay. Until I know they something buds back there. Um, you know what? Let me see something here. So, um, I think it's kind of hmm. you know what? I never thought about that. This is kind of pointing directly at the viewer. <laughs> so let's remove the bottom part. At least, let's see how that looks. We're going to leave it that way for now. If I want to change it in the future, we'll remove more. But that at least changes that direction to go up more instead of straight at the the viewer. So we'll leave that for now. Rotate it. We filled back in some. I'm just going to fill this top back in now. But I think the tree looks much better than it did when I got it. So there's actually a pad over here. There's there's actually you know, stuff going on. So if you enjoyed, like, subscribe, the bell, and I'll see you next time.